guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different from what I've been doing recently but a few months ago I showed you how I stored my lip set stock as a new distributor. So today I thought I'd show you how I store my stock um, and this time it's not just lip sense, I have branched out a little bit since then but I'm going to show you how I store my stock as a still fairly new distributor but one that's been doing it for a few months. Um, so I do have a little bit more stock. Um, I am now home, so I'm not living at my flat in London. Um, so I've kind of made do with what space I have. And I have these three bookcases, as you can see. And I've just utilised the space on top of them with all the stuff that I really need. But if we start on my radiator, I'm not going to show you too much, but basically I have a whiteboard with all my current stock on. I don't have that much in stock, but I do like to keep a little... Um, variation of colours, especially the lip scents and then a small supply of um, skincare. So I'm going to show you how I store my stock and set up for my business. If we start at the first bookshelf, I just have my printer, I give everyone a or invoice for their order in the post and then I print my labels off. So I just have my printer on here and then over here, which hopefully it'll focus in a minute, if it's not too focused on me. I just have my light that I take to vendor events and parties and it says at Hannah's Lips UK which is my social media um, username on everything Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, blog, email, everything. So I like having that. This second bookshelf is where I saw all my small products. So um, I tend to do a lot of lip and sip parties and because of that I have lip testers um, lip tester applicators so these are just little applicators so people can try on the lipstick I have eyelash glue holders in ring form so that I can just put the product in without having to use multiple lip testers I then have calm wall pads to take off any product that they're already wearing and then I have my two um, little pots of the testers that I have available to test um, I do have other testers available if they did want them um, but they're not opened so no, as no one's requested them yet but if anyone did request them I would be happy to open them and then I also have a mirror <laughs> I have a little mirror so that I can apply it to myself and other people can see it as we go but I also have um, a lot of my party stuff in a drawer in a space in my bedroom um, so if you want to see those I'd be happy to show you those as well so I have these drawers from Birchbox um, I love these. I am going to glue them together eventually once I'm in a permanent place. But for the time being, um, they work for me just being all loose. But they can come apart, if you can see that. Um, mainly because I don't know whether I want to keep them as a set of five or um, split them up into a three and a two and then have something else on top of them like this H, which I also just have on the tables at vendor events. So in this first drawer, I have all my glosses. At the moment I just have glossy gloss available in stock. In this drawer I have all my oots removers. Uh, everyone needs oots removers with starter kits so I have lots of them in stock. I then have my shadow sense colours and I also have one brow sense at the moment. So I have a brow sense and all my shadow sense colours. So I have candlelight, garnet and mulberry which are my favourites. Um, so I tend to just keep them in stock. In this one I have all my lip sense colours. Um, lots and lots of uh, in stock at the moment um, and then in the final one I have my lip balms and finally last but not least I just have these three little wicker baskets that I already had um, they were in my accommodation flat in London um, but obviously I'm not using them for the, that at the moment at least until I move to Nottingham in January but I just have um, brushes, freebies and skincare in this one um, not that much stock of skincare but I am really enjoying using it myself and when I feel comfortable talking about it I'm sure I'll sell a little bit more as well. We're in a little bit better lighting now but I hope you enjoyed that little um, tour of my storage space and I hope you found it useful but thank you so much for watching I'll speak to you next time. Bye. living at a uni version, uh, a uni, so say hello to yourself, can I turn to you? No. Um, so I'm going to take you a little bit closer so you can see what's in the drawers, or can I just say, no, I'll take you closer. <laughs>